Kansas City's Union Station is an architectural masterpiece, and the fact that it's over 100 years old truly makes it a place of living history. So how did it all start? In 1903, a great flood consumed the original Kansas City Railroad Station, the Union Depot, in the city's West Bottoms District. Rail executives decided to build a new train station on higher ground in a more central location. In 1911, construction began on the new massive Union Railway Station. It officially opened to the public on October 30, 1914, as the second largest train station in the country. The building encompassed 850,000 square feet, with the ceiling in the Grand Hall at 95 feet high. There are three chandeliers weighing 3,500 pounds each, and the Grand Hall clock has a six-foot diameter face. Union Station made headlines on June 17, 1933, as four unarmed FBI agents were gunned down by gang members attempting to free captured fugitive Frank Jelly Nash, who the officers were taking to the U.S. Penitentiary in Leavenworth, Kansas. Nash was also killed in the gun battle. The massacre changed the popularity of the station for the next few years. In 1945, annual passenger traffic was at an all-time high, with a significant number of America's armed forces personnel passing through Union Station on their way home from World War II. Unfortunately, by 1950, passenger rail traffic started to decline as the airline industry grew and traffic through the Union Station began to slow down. By 1972, Union Station was placed on the National Register of Historic Places. Sadly, only a year later, the station traffic dropped significantly, only passing six trains through each day. In 1983, the station is self-closed, staying open only for the last two restaurants remaining in the building. Both ended up closing in 1989 as well, leaving the building to deteriorate without tenants. In 1996, voters in Jackson, Clay, and Platte counties in the Missouri and Johnson County in Kansas approved a one-eighth of a cent by state sales tax to restore and redevelop Union Station and create a science museum. The tax raised $118 million toward the total $250 million project. The remaining money was raised through private donations and federal funds. The passage of the bi-state tax is thought to be the first of its kind in the history of the United States. Renovation on Union Station began in 1997 and was completed in two years. Amtrak train service returned in 2002, and a year later, the KC Rail Experience opened in celebration of both the history of the railroads and Union Station itself. The fully restored building now includes shops, restaurants, theaters, exhibits, and Science City, an interactive science center. Union Station also benefited from the new rent-paying tenants, such as the Greater Kansas City Chamber of Commerce, and the Kansas City Area Development Council, KC Smartport, and the Internal Revenue Service. Science City began multiple expansions in 2011 to include additions such as Science on a Sphere, the Science of Energy, and the fully renovated Extreme Screen Theater. They were recently named one of two worldwide recipients for an EDGY Award, a prestigious visitor experience award given to organizations who represent new ideas, promising practices, creativity, extraordinary performance, experiential learning, and forward-looking leadership. The award came three years into a long-term strategy among Science City coordinators to transform more than half of the space and realign with education priorities while partnering with local businesses. The museum contends that attendance and revenue growth, increased annual membership, and the fast-growing maker community have contributed to the success. Holidays at Union Station are a tradition for many. After all, the largest indoor holiday tree is displayed in the Grand Lobby, and many holidays plays and special performances take place. Beautiful oversized decorations make for excellent family photo opportunities, and the trains never fail to bring a crowd. It's the central place that draws us together as a community and throughout the years, it's continued to hold a place in our hearts. Today, Union Station receives no public funding. Current operating costs are funded by general admission and theater ticketing, grants, corporate and private donations, commercial space leases, and facility rentals. On November 2, 2015, the Royals celebrated their legendary win with a parade that ended at one of the most iconic buildings in all of Kansas City, Union Station. The entire world watched as an estimated 800,000 Royals fans gathered around the station to celebrate our home team pride. It's a day we will never forget. Union Station truly is a place of living history. After 100 years, we can only imagine what will happen after another 100 go by.